ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! -check. Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Julian Baldo Cubello and this is K-Check. Hindi lang ito tagisa ng talino para sa ating mga contestants. Ito ay para rin sa inyong lahat na gustong laging dinadagdagan ang inyong mga kaalaman. Every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Our first contestant is Earl, a graduating student taking a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. He has an interest in art, poetry, general trivia, and plays mobile games in his spare time. Our second contestant is Alexander, a member of the UP Pi Sigma fraternity, UP Palawenos, and a third-year BSBA student who loves cooking and watching series and movies. Our third contestant ay si Shane. Siya naman ay isang BS Physics freshman sa UP Diliman. Isa rin siyang part-time math tutor at miyembro ng Pisara bilang isang volunteer tutor. Our fourth contestant is Roach, a BS computer science freshie looking to make new opportunities and to make new memories, especially as face-to-face -face classes are yet to commence. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And then we have Professor Glesia Tienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. And Professor Ricky Nellias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Earl, which male singer had three straight number one hits? What do you mean, sorry, and love yourself? Justin Bieber. Okay, check. Alexander, in what series does Young He the robot doll appear in the red light, green light game? Uh, squid game. Okay, check. Shane, in what province can you find Olongapo City? I don't know. Correct answer is Zambales. Roach, which famous singer recorded the top 10 hits Say So, Kiss Me More, and Woman? Correct answer is Doja Cat. Earl, in what TV series do Nairobi, Moscow, Manila, and Tokyo appear? Money Heist. Okay, check. Alexander, in what province can you find Davao City? Uh, Davao del Norte. Malik, Davao del Sur. Shane, which female singer's latest hit song include Hadware Good, Love Again, and Sweetest Pie? Dua Lipa. Okay, check. Roach. Anya Taylor-Joy plays the role of chess with Beth Harmon in what drama series? The correct answer is The Queen's Gambit. Earl, in what province can you find Dumaguete City? Zamboanga. Male, Negros Oriental. Alexander, which female rapper had the hits Bang Bang, Starship, and recently Super Freaky Girl? Nicki Minaj. Okay, check. Shane, the Demo Gorgon and the Mind Flayer go against the heroes in what streaming series? Stranger Things. Okay, check. And finally, Roach, in what province can you find Lapu Lapu City? Correct answer is Cebu. And that's it for our first round, the K Check Paramihan round. Sir Junel, 
Kumusta naman yung parang nasa bukana na nasa got the road? Sinarabong naman ko yung salita yung nasa bukana, mm. pero baka nilalamig yung salita. Oo, oh, oh. ako pakiramdam ko talaga kailangan niya na mag-warm up, di ba? Ayun, mm. oo. Oh, oh. May konting, mamaya siguro kailangan ng lukewarm na tubig, mm -hmm. no? Kasi yun, pampainit ng katawan para next time wala nang mga na-stagger, na, na no? Na-stagnant sa bukana. Okay. Pro Freaky, may advice ka ba sa mga contestants natin? Wala naman. Pwede wag. Matipid. Okay. May question kasi uh, sa mukhang, mukhang maganda na yung start. Uh, yes. Nagiinit na sila. Mm -hmm. Pero uh, may tanong na ako kay Roach. Uh, mm -hmm. Anong nangyari? At, uh, ano, at ano sa tingin mo maging strategy natin for the next two rounds para makahabol? Okay. So, ito po kasi. I am practicing for an oral quiz po, for a subject. And because of that, um, I took this TV show to prepare for it. So, at least dito, I'm able to see mga weaknesses ko. Okay. Especially because I need to prove a lot of statements this Friday. So, I have a feeling na I got too pressured then. Especially because right now, I'm not in a proper mental state. And because of that, I'm going to, instead of trying to find the answer, since there's no going down from zero, kahit mali ako, tatamaan. Mm. Tama. Tatamaan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ako gusto ko yung spirit na yun. Talagang yes. fighting, fighting. Correct. Tsaka yung there's no going down. No? Ang, ganda ng, ang ganda ng attitude ni Roche. Okay. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Ayan, mag-recap muna tayo ng points. Naku, pantay-pantay ang tatlong contestants natin. With 20 points each, si Earl, si Alexander, si Shane. Yes, okay, no? Ang daming questions ng call sa mga provinces. Oo nga, ito yung mga underestimated natin at ito ay malapit sa puso ko kasi taga Northern Summer. Pag hindi mm. alam ng mga tao na Northern Summer saan yun? Nasa North ba yun? Di ba? Mm -hmm. Nahurt ako. Okay. Huwag ka na mahurt, no? <laughs> Oo nga. Uh -oh. Kasi ako mismo guilty din ako na nakakalimutan ko rin ang mga capital, kung anong rehiyon. Okay. Diba? So, self-check. Ikaw, Prof. Neil, may alam mo ba lahat ng probinsya ng Pilipinas? Well, uh, pwede bang sabihin na uh, favorite subject kong aralin palipunan. Oh. Okay. Sa akin, sobrang dali ang AP, aralin mm. palipunan, at yun yung konteksto bakit ako nagtuturo na kasi science sa UP. Mm. Pero yung tanong ko, doon sa isang subject na hirap na hirap ako nung high school, hindi ko nga alam paano ako nag-survive sa math dito sa UP Diliman. Mm -hmm. okay. So, si Shane ang gusto kong, uh, uh, Shane, ang tanong ko pala sa'yo, magbigay ka ng tips sa mga katulad ko na mathematically challenged. Oh, okay. Okay. Kasi alam ko, math shooter ka, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, so magbigay ka ng practical or pragmatic tips para sa mga estudyante hirap na hirap sa math. Sa unang tingin, ang math ay parang komplikadong mga rules na ina-apply mo para sa pagsagot nun. Pero para sa akin, bilang tutor na nga, ang ginagawa kong tip ay itatry kong i-explain yon sa bata. Kung na-explain ko siya sa bata, ibig sabihin, naiintindihan ko yung konsepto nung math na yun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ayun lang. Okay. I-explain na parang sa bata ang approach. Okay. Um, <laughs> feeling ko, baka kailangan ko na isang tutor na katulad ni Shane. Parang sa kanyang okay, math, sobra lang dali, no? Uh -huh. Oo. Uh -huh. Para sa amin, uh, yun yung rason nga, ng history major ako, sobrang nahihirapan kami sa math. Swerte lang ako, sobrang nurturing yung math teacher ko dito sa Diliman. Pero Shane, uh, keep up the good work at sana may mga libre ka rin tutorial. Di ba? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> Para sa mga maraming nahihirapan ng math kahit dito sa Diliman. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Silent na lang tayo dyan. No, anyway, okay? And now, we're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer na yan. Let's begin! This is question number one. Which movie starring Catherine Bernardo and Alden Richards was the top grossing movie in the Philippines in 2019? The correct answer is Hello, Love, Goodbye. Question number two. In the news, which American company, which also produces band aid 
and Ziploc has faced lawsuits because one of its baby powder brands allegedly contained asbestos. Shane? Unilever. Mali. The correct answer is Johnson & Johnson. Question number three. Jungkook of BTS is featured in what, in what song of Charlie Puth about memories that follow him? The correct answer is left and right. Okay, question number four. What is the name of the geometric shape that refers to the infield part of the baseball field whose corners are the three bases and the home plate. The correct answer is diamond. Question number five. Which oil-rich monarchy is located in the northern part of the island of Borneo, about 1,000 kilometers from Mindanao? Correct answer is Brunei. Okay, are you ready for question number six? Which state in the USA is nicknamed the Golden State? The correct answer is California. Question seven. What is local term for the cool and dry northeast wind coming from Siberia and China that blows from about November to March. Earl? Amihan. Okay, check. Question number eight. On July 20, 1969, who became the first man to set foot on the moon? Shane. Neil Armstrong. Okay, check. Question number nine. Which religious leader wears the ring of the fisherman as part of his official attire? The answer is the Pope. Okay. Question number 10. In 1974, she won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Performance for I Honestly Love You which was also given the Record of the Year trophy, who is this Australian singer who left us last August? The correct answer is Olivia Newton-John. Okay, we're down to the second to the last question. Question 11. The most medals won by a female athlete at the Olympics is 18 by Larissa Latinina. In what sport did she win the record number of medals? The correct answer is gymnastics. Okay, last question for round two, question 12. In 2019, what movie became the first South Korean film? Shane. Parasite. Okay, check. I'll finish the question. Film to win the prestigious Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, Parasite. Okay, and that's the end of our key check, Pabilisan round. Let's do a point recap first. Now, una, tay sila, no? Si Earl, chaka si Shane with 40 points. Alexander has 20 points. At si Roach ay hahabol, no? Magaling yung mga contestants at saka sa last round na yun. Yeah, tapos ano, na, na, na-feel ko yung intensity kasi halos naririnig ko sila sa gusto nilang isagot. Mm. Pero hindi nga lang nag babas. Uh, importante yung gag, ganun ka talaga. Yes. Uh, My yeah. intentionality Correct. over there. Uh, Prof. Glessy. Yung intentionality ba, kailangan malibdibang paghampas yun. <laughs> Oo, kasi hindi ba, kung hindi ka magde-decide na 
sasagot ka, ano mangyayari? Mm-hmm. Diba? Tama naman. Na, diba? Kaya nga, tatanungin natin si Alexander. Okay. Kasi napansin namin kanina, sabi mo, nagdalawang isip ako ng sagot eh, ba? Diba? Kaya ang tanong ko sa'yo, ano yung comfort food mo para mag-relax ka? <laughs> Ano yung comfort food uh, mo? Siguro po comfort food ko is yung Palawan Delicacy, uh, Chow Long. Oh. Ano siya, variation siya ng Vietnamese pho. Vietnamese. Mm. Oo, oh, oh, masarap yun. Ayan, nakakapakalma siya kasi sa bao and mainit. Yes, Ay, oh. isipin mo yun para yes. <laughs> pagsagot mo. Will do po, diretso. thank you. Yes, thank you. Bilhan na ng Chow Long uh, si Alexander. Gusto ko nga magluto mamaya ng Chow Long. Nga mamaya talaga, no? daming time. Yes. <laughs> Ako may tanong ako kay Earl. Okay, si Earl ay isang psych student, no? Anong magandang teorya ang i-apply sa ganong klase mga competition, Earl? Teorya. Uh, siguro po ang naisip ko na lang uh, na parang pwedeng i-apply ay yung sa respondent bi- res- isang, isang uri po ng respondent bias ang uh, social desirability kung saan uh, naapektuhan po yung pagsagot natin kasi gusto nating uh, maganda yung pagtingin, nat- pagtingin sa atin ng mga makakakita ng ating pagsagot. Mm-hmm. So, ayun po. Takot po tayo magkamali, etc. Okay. Takot magkamay. So, di na lang magsasagot. Nauunahan no? ng hiya na okay. anticipated pa lang yeah. naman. No. Tingnan natin sa next round kasi medyo tough na yung mga tanong. Oo, baka mabawasan na yun. Okay. So, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back! Points recap muna tayo. Ayan, may tie ulit tayo, no? Si Earl at si Shane both with 40 points each. Tapos si Alexander with 20 points. Meron tayo nakikita ng negative score. Pero pwedeng-pwedeng i-turn around yan like everything else in life. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> no. May confidence dapat na magganyan mamaya-maya kasi alam dapat ang sagot. No? So we'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points this time. No? And wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's begin! Question number one, Prof. Neil. Sino ang boksingerong Amerikano ang natanggalan ng boxing title matapos na tumanggi siyang magsilbing sundalo sa digmaan sa Vietnam noong 1960s? Pumunta siya sa Maynila para sa Trilla in Manila. Siya ang nagwagi doon sa labanan na yon. Ang tamang sagot ay Muhammad Ali. Maraming salamat, Prof. Gressi. Next question, please. Ang susunod na tanong natin ay nasa larangan ng literatura at ng theater, no? ng teatro. Okay. What is the local term used to refer to the trickster? Ano ang tawag sa wika natin sa trickster? Tawag ay pusong. Yon ang answer. Pusong. Parang ayaw akong matawag na pusong. No? Oh, oh. Prof. Ricky, question number three. Okay, sa so science naman tayo. What is being cycled between cellular respiration and photosynthesis? Ang mga gases na to, 21% ng Earth's atmosphere, oxygen, and trace amount of carbon dioxide. Maraming salamat. Prof. Neil, next question. Tanong hinggil sa kulturang popular. What is the name of the prestigious awards for excellence in film, television, and theater in South Korea? Ang tamang sagot ay Beksang or Beksang Arts Awards. Okay. Prof. Glassy? Sa larangan ng kasaysayan at musika. Who is the composer of the Philippine National Anthem? Earl. Julian Felipe. Okay. Okay, check. 
ang uh, sagot ay si Julian Felipe at salin nito sa Filipino yung lyrics ni Camilo Osias. Okay. Maraming salamat. Prof. Ricky, next question please. Okay, science again. Uh, this term refers to the hindrance to the flow of charge. Resistance. Roach. So, resistance. <laughs> with a Greek symbol omega, with a unit of ohms after George Simon Ohms, the correct answer, K check, resistance. Okay, marami salamat, Prof. Rigi. Prof. Neil, next question. Ang saya kong tinitignan si Roach, no? <laughs> Ito yung susunod na tanong. Para sa geography, which Philippine city was formerly known as Dansalan? Ito ang kabisera ng probinsya ng Lanao del Sur at sentro ito ng labanan nung panahon ng pamunuan ni President Duterte. Ang tamang sagot ay Marawi City. Thank you. Prof. Glassy. Sa larangan naman ng pelikula, pop culture. Okay. What is the name of the local copycat of Charlie Chaplin? Sino ang tinatawag nating local copycat ng Charlie Chaplin? Ang pangalan niya ay Canuto Francia o Canuplin. 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 Hmm. Pa-freaky. Sa chemistry naman tayo. What is the maximum number of electrons that the S orbital can hold? Chain. Two. The S orbital is a basket containing spin-up electron and the spin-down electron. The correct answer is two electrons, H. Marami salamat. Next question. Sobra na exciting yung laro. No? Nagahabulan mga contestants. Tanong para sa social science. This refers to the idea that each culture must be understood in terms of its own values and Change. beliefs. Culture, cultural relativism. Tatapusin ko muna yung tanong and not by the standards of another culture. Okay, check, Shane. Okay. Exciting alaban, Prof. Glessy. Next yes. question. Ang sunod na tanong, ito ay sa larangan ng sining ulit at musika. What is the name of the organization of artists founded by national artist Jovita Fuentes. Ang tamang sagot ay Artists Guild of the Philippines. Thank you. Last question ito, Prof. Ricky, no? Okay, last question. Medyo madali-dali ito, so handa. It is a branch of science that looks into waters of the earth the occurrence, circulation, Shane. oceanology, Malay, Earl, oceanography, Malay, thermodynamic, Malay, <laughs> proceed ako, the occurrence, circulation, distribution, their chemical and physical properties, and their reaction with the environment, including the relation with living things. Ito ay ang science na kailangan nating intindihin to look holistically about conservation, biodiversity, and climate change. And the correct answer is hydrology. Okay. Thank you so much, Prof. Riki. And that ends our third round, no? the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Shane, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 85 points. Congratulations. He will be receiving a power bank from TVUP. And we'll see Shane again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. 
Thanks to Earl, Alexander, and Roach for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Iglesi, and Professor Ricky. This is Julian Baldo Cubello. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.